The most popular fighting game franchises have been around for a long time, more than a decade. When you think about franchises such as Smash, Tekken, or Street Fighter, you're thinking about franchises that have been around since the 90s. While there's a certain familiarity and comfort to seeing regular characters appear through fighting games, at some point new characters are going to be introduced if a franchise stays around long enough, long enough for a new generation of fighting game players. Speaking of a new generation, Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs represent a new generation of fighters within the long-standing Mortal Kombat franchise, which itself has been around since the 90s. We'll show you the full story of these two characters, the offspring of other Mortal Kombat veterans, in this video about the story of Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs. Before continuing, it's worth noting that there are two continuities in Mortal Kombat, the Midway Games continuity and the Netherrealm continuity. Names such as Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage, Jax Briggs, and other veterans can be found in both continuities, but Jackie and Cassie are specific to the Netherrealm continuity. So let's start with Jackie Briggs. She's the daughter of United States Special Forces Commander Jax Briggs. By the end of Mortal Kombat 2011, the first game in the Netherrealm continuity, Jax existed as a revenant after being killed in the game's story mode. Jax himself was later revived through the efforts of Raiden, who reversed the effects of the evil sorcerer Quan Chi's magic while the revenants Jax, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero were knocked out. Raiden at the time was also working to overturn the conversion of Johnny Cage into a revenant, and his efforts had the unintended effect of saving the three revenants. Jax would go on to retire from the Special Forces after his revival, traumatized and guilt-ridden over the evil things he did while a Revenant. He settled down with his wife Vera and had a daughter, Jackie Briggs. Jackie Briggs passionately pursued being a soldier and became an excellent fighter. When Jackie was eventually recruited to be part of the separate Special Forces unit, along with Cassie Cage, Takeda Takahashi, and Kung Jin, Jax was reluctant. He didn't want Jackie to suffer as he did, knowing that if she pursued the path that she wanted, she would confront the same evils that he did. Jackie, on the other hand, was adamant about protecting Earthrealm and seeked to avenge the wrongs done to her father, possessing the spirit of a hero. As for Cassie Cage, she's the daughter of Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage. A Special Forces sergeant, she grew up in the shadow of Sonya, who spent much of her life in the Special Forces and was eventually promoted to General. And Johnny, an actor turned Special Forces consultant, both of whom were some of the small number of survivors from the onslaught of Shao Kahn years prior. Her parents divorced while she was growing up, as Johnny was unhappy with Sonya's obsession with her work and the relationship strain did hurt Cassie quite a bit. But as a strong-willed yet vivacious personality, Cassie Cage succeeded as a soldier and fought through the pressure of having high-profile family members, a necessity after she was kidnapped by the criminal group Black Dragon. The pressure of her parents' shadow is something that she continued to struggle with, as it fueled doubt about her self-worth and ability. Nevertheless, she was a woman of moral conviction who stood up to the challenge despite her emotional turmoil, and acted with lots of cockiness and fighting spirit. Both were part of Mortal Kombat X's story mode and appeared after Shinnok's first defeat, at the hands of Johnny Cage was illustrated. The Special Forces unit comprised of the leader Cassie Cage and the members Jackie Briggs, Takeda Takahashi, and Kung Jin were told the story of Shinnok's defeat by their mentor Johnny Cage. In Chapter 3 of the story mode, the Special Forces unit, sometimes affectionately called the Combat Kids by Mortal Kombat fans, were sent to the Lin Kuei headquarters to make contact with Sub-Zero, who had gone silent. The unit traveled to the headquarters and Kung Jin's impetuousness prompted him to launch a surprise attack on Sub-Zero, rather than meet and talk with him, whereas Sub-Zero awaited their arrival. The unit went along with the attack and Sub-Zero and the Lin Kuei eventually subdued all four of them, with Sub-Zero questioning each of their motivations and pasts as they fought. Defeated, the unit were told that this was a training exercise arranged by Cage and Sub-Zero and that they must work on their teamwork, though they showed promise. Afterwards, Sonya orders the team to go to Outworld, after the Special Forces began to receive an outpouring of refugees from the Outworld. The unit eventually found an audience with Kotal Kahn, a competitor to the throne of Outworld Emperor. After Kotal Kahn learned that Melina possessed Shinnok's amulet, an allegiance is negotiated between Kotal's forces and Cassie Cage on behalf of the Special Forces and Outworld, with Earthrealm seeing a historical and known enemy in Melina. Sonya alerted Cassie to Melina's location, and while Kotal Kahn's lieutenant Devorah asked to pursue Melina herself, Cassie asked to accompany her and Kotal relented. Cassie and Devorah traveled to Melina's jungle hideout and defeated Rain and Tanya. When Devorah is about to open the chest containing Shinnok's amulet, Melina arrived and tried to protect the amulet, but she was later subdued and brought to Kotal Kahn. Melina, Kotal Kahn's rival to the throne Outworld Emperor, was then gruesomely executed by Devorah. Though Cassie and her unit planned to take the amulet with them, Kotal has them captured instead. The four heroes bonded over their families and the expectations that they had to live up to. And then, Takeda hatched a successful plan to escape, and while on their way out, the four spotted and eventually fought Aaron Black, Reptile, and Ermac, lieutenants of Kotal Kahn, who had become suspicious of Devorah. The team of four overcame the lieutenant successfully and escaped, and they relayed their assessment of Devorah's current location. 
During this conversation, Jackie overheard Jax and the two traded brief comments about being concerned for each other. Jax planned to assist in a mission in the Netherrealm to ambush Quan Chi, a mission which later proved wildly successful, with Quan Chi getting captured by Jax himself. Quan Chi was then taken to a special forces camp and then Sonya listened to a call from Cassie. Cassie recounted that their trail on Devora had gone cold, and Sonya recalls the unit. However, Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu forces arrived, seeking to kill the captive Quan Chi, against the special forces' wishes. Scorpion's actions led to Quan Chi's beheading and Shinnok's arrival, thanks to a surprise appearance from Devora and a last-ditch effort from Quan Chi. Meanwhile, the entire special forces camp had been beaten down. When Cassie's team arrived, they learned from Sonya and Scorpion that Shinnok had been revived and Johnny Cage had been captured. This led the unit to travel to the Sky Temple where Shinnok planned to corrupt the Jinsei Chamber and with it the life force of Earthrealm. Jackie Briggs led the 11th chapter of the story, piloting the aircraft to the Sky Temple. On the way, they realized that the fate of the Earthrealm may very well rest on their shoulders, and Cassie reassured them that they will succeed. A wave of corrupted life force energy requires Jackie to immediately land the aircraft, and Cassie's unable to repair it once it's landed. Soon after, Kotal arrived with his forces, assuming that the Earthrealmers were allied with the traitor Devora. Kotal ordered his forces to attack the unit, and they retreated further into the woods in which they had landed, hoping to spring an ambush. This led to Jackie fighting off Reptile, Farah and Tor, and Ermac, her victory over the latter serving as retribution for him having torn off her father's arms. She attempted to reason with Kotal Kahn, remarking on Shinnok's corrupting of the Jinsei Chamber, but Kotal Kahn determined that Earthrealm was a lost cause and planned to appease Shinnok anyway. Though the Special Forces unit held off Kotal's forces for some time, they were eventually overpowered, which became a dire situation until Sub-Zero and his Lin Kuei warriors arrived to hold off Kotal Kahn. Cassie's team then moved to infiltrate the Sky Temple. The four then engaged the Revenants, Katana, and Sindel, with Cassie defeating them both. When the Revenants Kung Lao, Liu Kang, and Smoke arrived, Takeda opted to hold them off with Jackie, and Cassie and Kung Jin moving forward. Cassie saw her father captured in a strange yellow web and was being eaten by Devorah's bugs, the same bugs that killed Melina. Yet he was still alive. In the background, Shinnok was awakened, Cassie then defeated Devorah, and Shinnok began to fire a beam of energy at Johnny. Cassie saw them and moved to fight Shinnok, suddenly basked in a green glow, the same glow that Johnny had possessed when he defeated Shinnok. Cassie was pleasantly surprised with the sudden gift and engaged in combat against Shinnok, eventually winning. Cassie and Kung Jin cleaned up afterwards by placing Raiden in the Jinsei Chamber to purify it, absorbing a lot of corruption in the process but saving Earthrealm. Jackie and Takeda noticed the sky returning to normal. Then Cassie moved to tend to Johnny, with Sonya arriving shortly after. The three shared a bonding moment as a family, closing the story mode for Mortal Kombat X. Cassie and Jackie were both hero characters who started the story unproven but full of promise, and they had their promise fulfilled by being the deciding factor in preventing Shinnok from corrupting the life force of Earthrealm. Both are confirmed for Mortal Kombat 11, and while the story of the game deals with time travel and the past selves of characters confronting their current selves, that's meant for dramatic purposes. Though perhaps it'd be interesting to see the difficult relationship between Johnny and Sonya and how it affected Cassie, and the fighting that Jackie and Jax must have gone through over Jackie's life plans. Nevertheless, without their help, Earthrealm would have been lost to Shinnok, and so we can expect to see more of them in the future. Let us know what you think of Cassie and Jackie in the comments section below. With their potential for heroism fulfilled after their actions in Mortal Kombat X, their job will now be to push further back against the forces of evil that they must continue to confront. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily. Also, don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon, that way you don't miss out on any of our videos.